In certain Jewish beliefs, Enoch is said to have bypassed physical death and ascended to heaven in his body, becoming a guardian of celestial treasures and chief among the archangels. He's attributed with profound knowledge, guiding souls to joy and known by titles like Prince of God's Face and Prince of Wisdom. Additionally, he's said to have relayed God's messages to Moses. Similarly, Elijah is also said to have skipped death and ascended to heaven, becoming a hybrid being, part man, part angel. However, due to his physical form, he's unable to fly as swiftly as other angels. That's a downer. What I am saying, dear brothers and sisters, is that our physical bodies cannot inherit the kingdom of God. These dying bodies cannot inherit what will last forever. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 50 Before we move forward, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel. Subscribing to our channel ensures you won't miss out on any of our future content. We also value your input, so feel free to share your thoughts, ideas and suggestions in the comments section. Your feedback not only helps us improve, but also fosters a sense of community among our viewers. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to hearing from you. So, where did Enoch and Elijah go since flesh and blood cannot enter heaven? In 1 Chronicles 1 verse 3 and Luke 3 verse 37, Enoch is merely mentioned in genealogical lists without providing additional details. Jude 14 refers to Enoch as a prophet in the context of a prophecy. However, Hebrews 11 verse 5 offers significant insights into Enoch's life. By faith, Enoch was taken up so that he would not see death, and he was not found because God took him up, for he obtained the witness that before his being taken up, he was pleasing to God. Hebrews 11 verse 5 The Greek term used for taken up implies a significant relocation from one place to another, suggesting a departure. Therefore, Enoch was abruptly snatched up from earth to heaven, and notably, the text states that he did not see death. However, a straightforward reading of Hebrews 11 verse 13 might suggest that Enoch did indeed experience death. All these died in faith without receiving the promises. Hebrews 11 verse 13 it's crucial to recognize the distinction between the Greek words for death used in Hebrews 11 verse 5 and 11 verse 13. In verse 5, the Greek word for death, thanatos, refers to the process of dying, typically due to disease, indicating that Enoch did not undergo this process. Instead, God snatched Enoch's spirit away, implying a sudden and direct transition from earth to heaven. Conversely, in verse 13, the Greek word for died, apothnesko, specifically denotes physical death. This clarifies that while Enoch's mortal body ceased to exist, he did not endure the usual process or suffer the pain associated with dying. It's plausible that someone on earth buried his body, but it's more likely that God caused his mortal body to simply cease to exist. When believers pass away, God takes their spirits to heaven. In the future, during the rapture, 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 13 to 17, the mortal bodies of believers will be transformed into immortal bodies, 1 Corinthians 15 verse 51 to 54. Therefore, in response to the question, did Enoch die? The answer is affirmative. He experienced the death of his body, but he did not undergo the typical process or agony associated with dying. Elijah's name appears frequently throughout the Old and New Testaments, but we'll focus on specific passages to address the question, Did Elijah die? The key passage is 2 Kings 2 verse 11 to 12. As they were going along and talking, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, which separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind to heaven. Elisha saw it and cried out, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. And he saw Elijah no more. Then he took hold of his own clothes and tore them in two pieces. 2 Kings 2 verse 11 to 12. 
This passage describes Elijah's ascent to heaven in a chariot of fire and whirlwind. The Hebrew text provides no further details, indicating that Elijah was suddenly taken from Elisha's presence and transported to heaven. Let's make it clearer. 900 years after Elijah's ascent, Jesus stated, No one has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. John 3 verse 13 Does this contradict Elijah's experience? If Elijah didn't go to heaven, where did he go? The term heaven is used in the Bible to describe three distinct places. Firstly, it refers to the earth's atmosphere, where birds fly. Genesis 1 verse 20, Jeremiah 4 verse 25, 34 verse 20. Secondly, it denotes outer space, where planets and stars exist. Deuteronomy 1 verse 10 and 17 verse 3, Psalm 8 verse 3, Jeremiah 8 verse 2. Thirdly, it refers to the heavenly realm where God resides, also known as paradise. John 14 verse 2, Luke 23 verse 43, Revelation 2 verse 7. Which heaven did Elijah go to, the first or second? We believe he was taken into the earth's atmosphere, the first heaven, as a whirlwind can only occur in the atmosphere surrounding the earth. Did Elijah die when God took him up into the atmosphere? We don't think so. Nearly ten years after Elijah's departure, a letter from him was received by the wicked king of Judah, Jehoram. 2 Chronicles 21, verse 12 to 15. The wording of the letter indicates that it was written after the events of the past decade had occurred. Elijah speaks of past events and future diseases. Two years after receiving the letter, the king fell ill and died. This letter proves that Elijah was alive and residing somewhere else. The Bible doesn't reveal how much longer Elijah lived after writing the letter, but we do know that when he eventually passed away, he didn't go to heaven. In conclusion, the enigmatic fate of the Old Testament figures Elijah and Enoch prompts contemplation, yet it underscores God's sovereignty. Their translation to a clandestine earthly location awaiting the apocalypse reflects God's unique plan for them. Contrary to popular belief, they did not ascend into heaven, aligning with Jesus' words to Nicodemus. No one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from heaven, that is, the Son of Man who is in heaven. John 3 verse 13.